Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the world of AI. In today's video, we're going to be focusing on H2O GPT. I know guys, I'm a little late on this, but it's never too late to showcase videos on this channel. H2O GPT is a comprehensive framework that combines a large language model fine tuning system, a chatbot user interface, as well as a document question answering capabilities. The main objective of H2O GPT is to enhance the performance of large language models by grounding them with relevant contextual information from documents. And you will see this later on in the video where we showcase how H2O GPT was able to revolutionize a Falcon 40 billion parameter model. Now this contextual grounding helps mitigate the issue of hallucination where the language model generates responses that are more accurate or reliable. Now basically in today's video we're going to showcase what you can actually do with chat or sorry with H2O GPT as well as showcasing you how you can actually fine tune your own large language model as well as taking a look at how you can install it locally on our desktop and taking a look at the research paper which showcases a lot more information as to the key features as well as the framework of H2O GPT. We're also going to take a look at the live demos in which we can test and compare other models that were fine-tuned with H2O GPT. So with that thought guys, thank you guys so much for staying tuned make sure you stay till the end as we're going to be covering a lot of knowledge as well as a lot of content that will be very beneficial for you guys so with that thought before we actually get into the video it would mean the whole world to me if you guys can go give world of ai on twitter a follow if you guys haven't already i'm going to be posting the latest ai news over here and if you guys haven't subscribed to the YouTube page, please do so because there's a lot of content and a lot of value that you will definitely benefit from. I'm going to be posting daily news over here, so make sure you stay up to date by subscribing and turning on the notification bell. So with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for staying tuned and let's get right into the video. So this framework is actually built upon the principles of Alpaca V2 open source license, which ensures that it is freely available for use, modification, and distribution. This open source nature encourages collaboration and contribution from the community, so it's easily accessible for anyone to use, and you're able to fine tune LLMs as well as utilize the chatbot UI, as well as the document question answering framework for free because of its open source nature. Now, one of the key benefits and the key features of H2O GPT is its ability to fine tune LLMs. And this is something that you will check out later on in the video as there's different models that they've actually fine tuned. And you will see the difference as to how amazing these fine tune models are as we generate different types of contextual responses with this mo GPT model. And basically, you're able to provide documents and fine tune the, these large language models through training these models on specific data sets to adapt to perform on a particular task or to improve on a performance on a specific domain. And this is by leveraging documents as well as utilizing H2O GPT to enable the fine tuning process to incorporate domain specific information, which leads to more accurate and relevant responses from the language model. The chatbot UI component of H2O GPT provides a user-friendly interface, which we saw previously, and this is for interacting with the fine-tuned LLMs. So users, as well as people who are developing different large language models, can input questions or prompts, as well as utilize a system that is fine-tuned for LLMs to generate appropriate responses based off the given context. And basically, the chatbot UI can be customized and extended to suit specific requirements, which allows you as a developer or a user to create tailored conversational experiences. Now, additionally to all of this, H2O GPT incorporates a document question answering capabilities. And this is something that I'll showcase later on. You're able to upload your own documents and chat with it. Another cool thing is that you can even input say for example you have a pdf right here you can input the link of this and you can start chatting with the pdf through a web link and this is quite revolutionary guys because i haven't seen this with any other gpt model or any large language model or any chatbot in general so you're able to have these question answering systems set with documents as well as live links which you can paste and start chatting with this is, this is one of the main features as well as remarkable things about h2o gpt you're able to combine so many different things with this amazing gpt model as you're able to fine-tune things have an amazing user interface 
as well as chatting with documents. And with this thought, let us get into the next focus as well as talking a little bit more about the reasoning of why you should use H2O GPT. So all this information is in the actual research paper. So everything I'm saying is going to be posted in the description below so you can get a better look at it. But in terms of why you would actually want to use H2O GPT, yeah, the reason is because of its highly regarded platform and community driven basic GPT. And this is all because of the community. Firstly, H2O AI is able to provide powerful and scalable tools such as H2O driveless AI, as well as H2O3. And these are some of the tools that are known for their high performance and ability to handle large data sets. You as a user can basically utilize these things for free because of its open source nature. With H2O, the flagship platform offers a distributed and in-memory processing framework, which enables for efficient data manipulation and machine learning model training. Now, one of the standout features of H2O GPT is its focus on its model explainability. The platform offers an intuitive visualization and interpretability techniques that helps users gain insight in decision-making processes of machine learning models. And this emphasis is basically to promote transparency as well as addressing concerns related to biased and unethical AI systems. Now, in terms of installing this locally, you're going to have to have all the requirements that are stated on their GitHub repo. So if you want, you should definitely check this out and I'll leave this in the description below. But first things first, you're going to need Python 3.1 environments. So if you need to install them, you need to do this by clicking on this hyperlink over here and you can start installing the requirements and environments. So what you got to do uh, is start copying these commands and going into your PowerShell and creating these environments. And once you're done that, you can start cloning the repository onto your desktop and going into the folder and then start installing the different types of toolkits and files that are needed to operate this application. In this case, you have a Windows explanation instruction sheet as well as a Mac OS sheet. And you can basically utilize these things for your own specific needs to install it locally. And you can see over here, there's a lot of command lines as to how you can install it locally and have it running for free. In basic terms, this is a chat GPT system that is completely free on your local host without internet access. You can install this completely free and you can access and search. You can utilize the different types of contents that are used to basically generate your AI contextual reports for free without the use of internet access. And this is one of the great remarkable things about H2O GPT. So if you want, definitely take a look at this and you're going to need to make sure that you have the right requirements to install this. So I highly recommend that you check that out before you actually install. Now, if you are to go on the gpt-gm.h2o.ai website, you're going to be able to see some of the fine tuned models that they've utilized with the help of their own H2O model to actually fine tune. You can see over here, you have the Falcon 40 billion parameter model, which they incorporated with Open Assistant to fine tune, as well as the Open Assistant plus Falcon 7 billion parameter model in which they fine tuned with H2O GPT. And lastly, they've done the same thing with the Open Llama 13 billion parameter model. Now these models have undergone a fine tuning process using the H2O GPT framework. The fine tuning involves training a base language model on specific data sets or tasks to enhance its performance in a particular domain. In this case, the base model used are Falcon 40 billion parameter, which we covered, the Falcon 7 billion parameter, as well as the Open Llama 13 billion parameter model. Now, by leveraging the H2O GPT framework, these models have been customized and adapted to excel in chatbot applications. Fine tuning allows the models to learn from specific data sets and contextual information relevant to the chat conversations, which enables them to generate more accurate and contextually appropriate responses. The fine tuned Falcon 40 billion parameter model, as well as the Falcon 7 billion and the Open Llama 13 billion chat models, provide improved conversational abilities and language understanding compared to the base models. They have been designed to be used in chatbot interfaces or applications where the user can interact with these models by asking questions or engaging in conversations. Now, these fine tuned models have been optimized and tailored to deliver the enhanced 
enhanced performance and responsive chat based interactions for you so i highly recommend that you check this out you have the search web experimentation option over here you can play around with different themes black and white and you can incorporate different settings by deleting your chat and sharing with the model authors now these are some of the things that you can do uh, if you want to select a certain type of model you can select them by clicking on them in this case it's best to use the big biggest model so you can even access the model page data set and website you can even utilize some of these things by downloading the exact model for your own use cases and fine tuning it even more for your own preferences but in this case i'm just going to be using falcon 40 billion parameter model now let me ask it write me a simple code in python for a snakes and ladder game now it's going to take a couple seconds and once it's done i'll be right back now that was actually really fast in my personal experience i have not gotten any sort of code to be outputted this fast so it just goes to show that they were actually able to output this really fast with this fine tuned model now let me actually ask it summarize what h2o gpt can do with its with its framework now i'm just gonna ask it random things and we can see that you're getting a fast contextual response from this actual machine and this is something that i ha i wasn't really expecting because the previous falcon 40 billion parameter model wasn't actually able to generate responses this fast as well as this big it, it did give you bigger contextual answers but it wasn't actually able to do this as fast as this h2o gpt fine-tuned model now i'm asking different types of things in different like scenarios so not scenarios but like in different like areas so i'm asking something that is related to math now uh this is one of the hardest mathematical equations out there and i'm just asking it what it is we can see you can do code you can ask it to summarize things you can ask it different questions and you can even have it write an email to my friend that i won't be coming to his wedding just a random thing i'm just formulating and we can see you can even do things like this so it just goes to show that you're able to get blazing fast responses with this new fine-tuned model and you're able to even get larger contextual responses with this so these are one of the great things that you can do with h2o gpt in terms of its fine tuning framework now guys i'm going to showcase their actual overall website which you can compare different models that have been fine-tuned with h2o gpt you can see you have the vicuna model over here open assistant model llama gpt 3.5 as well as the other different models that are put over here you can ask it write me a simple code for uh snakes and ladder game oh shoot i spelled ladder wrong but i basically put input and we're gonna see that it's gonna start writing the code in all of these different models all of them are gonna write the code for this prompt that i gave it and we can see that you can get a faster response with the 14 or for the 7 billion response as well as the 14 40 billion falcon model and this is just amazing guys because you can easily compare each of these responses with each other and all these fine tuned models that have been used and utilized through h2o gpt now guys if you want to actually select a certain type of model and just play around with that individual model you can do so by going on their github repo and you can exactly click on a specific model that you want to play with and open that link up and you can play with the falcon model over here which is the 40 billion parameter model and one cool thing is that you have your own tab for document selectation you can upload your own pdf or any type of file that you want to play around with and ask it questions you can update the ui with the documents you can have a document viewer as well as a chat history in which you can export for different use cases and you can also experiment with the different types of temperature as well as the token usage and these are some of the things that you can do with the oh2o gpt site now guys with the final thought overall h2o gpt is an amazing amazing framework that is flexible for working with different types of lms fine tuning them and building document question answering systems it's fully open source and it's free so 
I definitely, definitely recommend that you check out all the links that I'll post in the description below so you can get more familiarized with this amazing application. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. It means a lot to me for supporting me for all this time, guys. Uh, if you guys haven't already, definitely give the Twitter page a follow. Subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video. And if you guys haven't seen my previous videos, it would mean the whole world to me if you guys can do so. So with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys shortly. Peace out, fellas.